So this month, Alien Romulus came out, a film which I am very, very excited about, but I've not managed to actually get out to the cinema to check out for myself. However, it has sort of reignited my absolute love for the Alien franchise. And so I thought I'm going to dig out some of my Alien Blu-rays and just revisit some of them. Now, I haven't been revisiting the films. I've been revisiting or visiting some of the special features. Now, I've had this DVD box, this Blu-ray box set for quite a few years. I can't actually remember how many years I've had it, but it's definitely more than a handful. And going through this thing, I just didn't realise just how much damn content is is on in this little box. It's absolutely crazy. And so I thought, you know what, I'm going to do a little unboxing video, or not so much an unboxing video, but a little bit of a show-off video, um, just showcasing what is actually in this box set. Over the years, there has been a whole bunch of releases of all the Alien films, standalone releases, two-disc sets, trilogies, quadrilogies, legacy box, there's, there's tons. I don't know if this is the best box set, but if there's a better box set that has more special features in it, let me know in the comments, because this one is pretty damn impressive, and I'm going to go into why. Let's just move this uh, Xenomorph out the way they can watch from over there. So what we have, solid cardboard box. I'm just going to check on the year when this was actually issued. Uh, if in fact it does say what year it was issued. Does it say what year it was issued? I can't see it. Nope, can't read that. But I'm sure we'll find out anyway. So we get a nice solid cardboard box. Now this set doesn't include Prometheus or Alien Covenant. It's just Alien, Aliens, Alien 3 and Alien Resurrection. So it is, in my opinion, the best for Aliens. I haven't seen Romulus yet, so whether that would be included in this list in the future, I do not know. So let's pop the box over there. Nice little booklet, which if you check that out, look, Mother Mode Viewer's Guide. Now, I haven't read this guide, but I'm pretty sure it will make sense because the, the, the special features in this set are insane. But we'll get back to those in a minute. Now, what we do get is, is a foldy outy set. So we're going to go through them. Aliens, Alien 3. Alien Resurrection, then we get Making Alien Anthology, and finally the Archives. So it's a six disc set. I know previously I used to own, I think it was an eight disc set, because that had, it was a Region 1 import, and it had two discs for each film. So you would have a theatrical version on one, and the special edition on the next one. But what they've done is, obviously with the Blu-ray technology, and technology moves on, we get one disc per movie. So we get a little thing in there, Disc Unbound, that will just tell you a whole bunch of stuff. Um, basically, that is just... What is that telling you? Not a right lot, to be honest. If you have a look at that, there's, that's like a page of not much. Right, it tells you about Mother Mode. Already it's like, is this, this is a complicated set. So we get the alien disc. Uh, below each of these, we do get some really cool artwork for them. As you can see. There we go. So even then, even so far, the presentation is pretty impressive. In my opinion, anyway. Opinions vary, but I love it. Alien Resurrection, and then finally, two discs, not too much fancy below that one, and below here, we get that. So, are you, are you insanely impressed by this so far? Well, maybe, I would hope so. Right, now... Um, I'm, I'm trying to make this video as interesting as possible because a lot of it is quite technical stuff. So, on each of these discs, so Alien 1, 2, 3, 4, we get the theatrical version, obviously 79 version 86, so on. We also get the director's cuts or extended cuts or assembly cuts, whatever, whatever you wish to call it. It's also a brief introduction by the directors on 
Alien and Aliens. Uh, understandably, there isn't one for Alien 3, and Alien Resurrection has one too. So, we also get, on Alien, the theatrical version, the 1979 version, we do get the, a 1999 commentary by Ridley Scott, soon to become Sir Ridley Scott, many years after this. Um, and there's also a 2003 commentary by Ridley and the cast and crew. So we get two commentaries on Alien. There's also an isolated score on the 1979 version. And there is also Jerry Goldsmith's original isolated score on the 1979 version as well. Don't know what the differences are between the original score and the isolated score. I haven't, I haven't checked those out. Uh, I generally am not too fussed about watching a film while listening to an isolated score. I do listen to the score separately, but so I don't really know the differences on that one. On Aliens, we get the 1990 special edition. We also get the 1986 theatrical version. And on both versions, we get a 2003 uh, James Cameron and cast and crew score. It, um, commentary, sorry. It is the same commentary. Obviously, you're going to get less of it if you watch a theatrical version because it's like 17 minutes less footage. So if you're going to listen to the commentary, I would definitely put it on the special edition um, thing. We also get James Horner's isolated score on the 86 version and the final theatrical score by James Horner on the 1986 edition as well. Now we bump on to Alien 3, which... I love Alien 3. I will always go to bat for Alien 3. I was a fan of it in uh, 1992 when I saw it in the cinemas, in the theatres. I've loved it ever since. We get the original theatrical version and we also get the assembly cut. So this isn't a director's cut, but it is a closer version of David Fincher's uh, vision for the film than was put out in theatres. Now, we also get on the theatrical version, Elliot Goldenthal's Isolated Score. So if you do like isolated scores, this is a really good set for you. And then finally on the movies, we have Alien 4. So we get the 1997, uh, obviously it's the theatrical version. We also got a 2003 extended version as well. We get a commentary on both versions. Again, then... Um, 2003 version is a little bit longer, so if you want more commentary, then go for the 2003. And on the 1997 version of the film, we do get the isolated score, which is a pretty good score. It's not a score I've listened to a lot, but it is pretty good. So there's your films. So we get both versions, commentaries, isolated scores, etc., etc. Now... We get to my favourite disc on the entire set, which is this one, disc five. So if you do have this set and you've not really checked out too much of the special features, I cannot urge you enough to go to disc five. But what do we have on this single, single little flimsy disc? What do we have here? Well, I will show you or I will tell you. It's divided up into sort of sub-menus, and if there is one slightly downside to this set, it's the, the menus aren't exactly simple to navigate. Um, there is a lot of hidden things within here, there, and everywhere, but uh, in some ways it's really good, because years after buying the box set, I discovered all these things that I hadn't even seen, so it will, it will keep you quiet for years to come. So we're going to focus on Alien Aliens, Alien 3 and Alien 4. I'm going to do that in this order. This is just related to this disc. So on Alien, there is a three-hour documentary called The Beast Within, um, which is amazing. So there is a play-all option, or you can watch these things in little featurettes. If, if ever there's a play-all option, I always go for the play-all option. I'm not a fan of just taking like breaks between each of the featurettes but that's my own preference so we get the beast within 
documentary, which is very, very in depth, as you would think for a three hour documentary on uh, on aliens. There is also um, enhancement pods. So you'll go, when you go into the making of thing, you will see, do you want to watch The Beast Within? You go, yes, please. And then below it, you'll see, and this applies to all the other films that I'm going to go through as well. There's this thing called enhancement pods, which I would possibly say are deleted segments. Maybe things that were that uh, Charles de Las Rica was going to put in. He's the creator of all these making ofs that I'm going to go through. The guy's a god as far as I'm concerned when it comes to behind the scenes making ofs. Um, I will buy a Blu-ray or a DVD or whatever if it has one of his making ofs on it. Um, which is why I was very excited when I saw some of these. I'm like, oh my god, I didn't even know these existed. So the enhancement pods, you can play all on these. So not only do we get a three hour making of The Beast Within on Aliens, we also get an extra one hour, 20 minutes of alien enhancement pods, which are these little featurettes that vary in length, but you can play them all so you just get even more. Then we move on to Aliens, which has the documentary Superior Firepower. Now that runs for three hours as well, so up to like seven and a half hours or something here. Yeah. So it runs for three hours. Great making of. There is also another 58 minutes of enhancement pods on aliens. I wish I'd have added all this lot up, and I may try and do a rough thing of it um, at the end of this, just to show you how many hours of special features there are. On Alien 3, we get Wreckage and Rage, which is two hours and 41 minutes, and it is probably the best look at the making of Alien 3 that I've ever seen. There haven't been too many making of Alien 3s. Uh, it was a very troubled production. I love the film, so I will never critique the movie. But David Fincher doesn't really talk about the film too much. He doesn't appear in any new interviews for this. I, I get why. Um, but there is so much behind-the-scenes footage that you do see of Fincher doing his thing, working his magic, and just trying to get through the entire project. So Wreckage and Rage is really, really good. There is also another 74 minutes of enhancement pods on the Alien 3 part. So we're, we're up to near enough, like, what, four hours or something on Alien 3? Um, Alien Resurrection, we get the documentary One Step Beyond, uh, the making of Alien Resurrection, which again runs for three hours and also has 75 minutes worth of enhancement pods. So we've got like, what is it, about 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, about, probably about 16 hours of making ofs on this disc alone. That is insane. I, mean, I don't know how many DVDs that would have taken back in the day, probably about four or five, but probably like 16 hours-ish of making ofs. Easily, this is probably one of my favorite discs I've ever seen in my entire life. Um, I would highly recommend you do watch The Beast Within, which I watched last night. Uh, Wreckage and Rage, the Alien 3 one, which I watched the previous night. I am going to be checking out Superior Firepower and One Step Beyond in the next couple of days. But if the quality matches that of the making of Alien and Alien 3, I am in for a really good time. And that is just disc 5. That is crazy. So then we go to the final disc which is this one, the Alien Anthology Archives. Now, obviously, self-explanatory. Archives probably means it's special features that have been on previous sets, and you will be correct in that. So, on Alien, um, I mean, a lot of these are covering various members of the Alien franchise. So, there is a 2001 documentary called Alien Evolution, which features Mark Kermode. Um, runs for 48 minutes. This was re-edited again in 2003 to include some extra stuff, so you get that 64-minute version on there as well. There is a documentary called Alien Saga. I'm not entirely sure what year that is from. That runs for just short two hours, runs for one hour, 49 minutes. Uh, there was a 1979 featurette, which is really good, so this is probably before Alien was released, uh, maybe just after. Runs for seven minutes and features a very youthful Ridley Scott. There's a 1999 documentary called The Alien Legacy, which I think I've seen before. I think I had that on a previous box set. 
uh, runs for 76 minutes. There is a 15 minute Ridley Scott Q&A at uh, American Cinematique, 15 minutes. And there's various uh, little featurettes which are in sub menus. So for example, there's an HBO first look at Alien 4, which runs for 25 minutes. There's a, an advanced look at Alien 3, which runs for three minutes and a making of Alien 3, which runs for 23 minutes. I'm pretty sure the 23 minutes isn't showing as much uh, chaos as Wreckage and Rage does in its in its three hours plus. Um, there is also a little parodies thing where you've clipped some family guy and space balls and stuff only runs for a couple of minutes. There is a 16 minute feature called Aliens in the Basement with Bob Burns where he shows off some of the puppets. Uh, it's absolutely mind blowing just how much stuff is in this. Now, if you're a fan of photo galleries and looking at looking at things like script pages and text documents and all that sort of stuff, this is where the, all that stuff lives. I'm generally not a fan of looking at photo galleries on a Blu-ray or a DVD, but again, that's my preference for special features. I'm more interested in commentaries, which these commentaries are amazing. I listened to the Alien 3 one again the other day, which features pretty much everybody. Uh, Terry Rawlins, the editor, uh, Paul McGann, um, all of them, loads of them. Not Fincher, not surprising. And so if you're a fan of commentaries or featurettes or crazy long, amazing documentaries, then this is definitely the set for you. It is probably one of my favorite box sets that I do own, I think. Um, and, you know, Alien Romulus is out. And some people like it, some people don't. But for whatever, it's reignited my absolute love for the Alien franchise. And that's why I wanted to dig out this box set and just rewatch a whole bunch of stuff. I probably will go through the movies at some point. But And you look at the booklet that we got. I nearly forgot about the booklet. There's something called the Mother Mode, which... Um, which is like an like an on-screen interface. Um, I don't really play around with that too much, but it's probably something I'll do at some point, to be fair. And so what we've got here, let's have a look. It does give you all the stuff that you've got in there. You know, like pretty much all the stuff I've just read out to you telling you what's on here. I could have just shown you a picture of the booklet, but... Um, that would not really show my enthusiasm, would it? So it does give you a list of all... Let's just look at Alien 3. So if you look at all the people that are included in the commentaries, a whole bunch of people there. Lance Henriksen's in there. Alien 4. Has all that. There's obviously deleted scenes and stuff, but the majority of the deleted scenes will be in the um, theatrical version, the extended versions, won't they? There we go. That's who's in... Harry Dean Stanton, John Hart. So many of these people just aren't around anymore. It's crazy. I mean, look, the legendary Bill Paxton in there. So it's a very, very good set. Um, I would highly, highly recommend it. If you're an Aliens fan, do check it out. It's gorgeous. Highlights for me, like I'd mentioned, is this disc. Disc five with all all of Charles's documentaries in there, uh, they are fantastic. They and I'm so glad there's a play all option as well. I was putting the Alien three one on the other night. I'm oh, I'm making of Alien three. This is amazing. And so I've selected the play all. Now I don't know whether you guys and girls do it as well, but when you, sometimes you check to see how long something is, so you press your display button on your remote control, it comes up. And I did it on the Alien 3 one, and it came up like 17 minutes. I'm like, really? A 17-minute making of Alien 3? Okay, that's a little bit short. I was hoping it'd, be, hoping it'd be a little bit longer. So I'm watching it. It got up to like 11 minutes and hadn't even started shooting yet. And I'm thinking, this is not a good making of this. It's 17 minutes long. But what it does is the display time comes up for each featurette. 
And so when it goes on to the next feature, it'll say like 12 minutes or something. So I, I did a couple of times go back and make sure that I'd set it up right. Um, but the play all option will play everything. Get yourself some popcorn, get yourself some drinks and just just immerse yourself in this amazing world of uh, of the Alien franchise. So thank you to Charles de los Rica once again for being absolutely amazing doing all the making ofs. I absolutely love his work. And uh, yeah, keep doing it. But even this nice little shiny little box. Like, how cool is that? So is there a better Alien box set than this? I don't mean one that contains Prometheus and Alien Covenant, but I'm talking special features uh, because I, I am an absolute sucker. Long live physical media because you don't get all this on digital, do you?